Hello, welcome back to another episode in my survival world. Um, I've got some pretty big plans today. Uh, you see that there mountain behind me? I was looking at it and I was thinking, man, that mycelium is really ugly. It's just such a bland color. I mean, like you just, it's just too much gray. And I was looking down there and I saw a bit of grass and I had some grass down there just to make this build look a little bit more pretty. And I think it's time that I turn, transform this whole island to a luscious green mountain. And the way that I think I'm going to go about transforming this mountain here is I think I'm going to work from the top all the way to the bottom. Just because, I don't know, it's a little bit easier to maintain it that way. Like you place cobble around the mycelium to get it so it doesn't spread while you're turning it to grass. So it just works easier from top to bottom. So I hope you enjoy the time lapse.
So as you can see, I've done a lot in this episode. I have transformed this entire mountain to this beautiful green grass. And hopefully, eventually, I'm wanting to do the entire rest of the island. But before then, I've got a few things I've got to do just so it's not as grungy as it was when I did the mountain. So if you travel off in the ocean in this direction, eventually, maybe, there it is, okay. So that's my mob farm. It was Originally, I was just gonna have a creeper farm. So this thing is cranking out items. It is insane, honestly, way better than just a creeper farm. Cause I mean, you get all the things, bones, string, anything I'll need. And honestly, I've been, I don't actually have an, an ac any access to the string makes it really hard for me to get dispensers but now I got that and this here is my grass farm um, one thing I've been having problems with is it's not spreading the grass fast enough so I think I want to do a tighter knit grid so the grass transfers to the dirt below a little bit faster um, also another problem I've had with this grass farm is each harvest is just like a few stacks short of a shulker box, of a full shulker box, and then it's just like, honestly, I think I'm going to expand it a little bit and change up the grid pattern. Just, it'd be so nice to harvest and get exactly a shulker box full of green grass. It'd make it so much easier. <laughs> Let me travel back to the homeland. All right, I'm back at the island, and here I am at my tower, and I've got actually some plans up at the very top of what I want to do for the rest of the island. So I've broken down my big plan into six different sections. So the first one here, we've got harbor, which includes, you know, ships, docks, and, you know, a little waterfall on that side of the mountain. Um, and then I've got another one for the countryside, farmland, windmill barns. Got a self a blacksmith area where I want to have a bunch of villagers that I can trade with for weapons, armor, and tools. And then in the middle of, I don't know, some central area around this island, I want to have a little marketplace where I just kind of have all of the weird villagers that, you know, that I can just trade with. And then these villagers are going to need a place to live. So I'm going to make a little bit, a few townhomes, cottages, and then eventually I want to build a large manor for myself on top of this mountain here. Um, and then... The last part of this plan that I've got here is I want to make this place look a little bit more beautiful. I want to make the cliffs a little bit more, well, cliffy, some more jagged edges and add some rocks and boulders around to the area just to give it a little bit more of an atmosphere. And I want to put some plants on this island other than these mushrooms. I mean, these mushrooms are pretty nice, but I mean, they're pretty bland. <laughs> Honestly, I could put in some custom trees and make this place look more, a lot more beautiful. All right, so around here I want there to be, I think I want this place to be the marketplace. I'm not completely, it's not set in stone quite yet, but I think it'd be pretty cool to have a little marketplace area with a bunch of shops surrounding it. Um, this over here is where my harbor is going to be. And what I want to do eventually is have a river running from the top of this mountain all the way down and then a waterfall cascading down into the harbor below. I'm going to put some docks around the edges here. Hopefully some ships if I can learn how to build them prettily. <laughs> um, I want to make these cliffs look a little less, well, Minecraft generated. <laughs> the terrain generation isn't too good, but... These cliffs are kind of good. They actually look pretty nice, but I could honestly make these look quite a bit better. And just all the way around this mountain, when there's any sheer drops, I want to make the cliffs look a little bit better. And I want to eventually cover this landscape in boulders. And, and I want to put some trees around here. Ooh, you know, I think I just figured out where I want to put the farmland. This is such a nice, smooth area. This would be really great for some nice smooth farmland yeah but eventually I want to fill this island up with a flourishing civilization so I'm back at the project board and I'm actually gonna let my audience choose what I do in the next episode the first person to comment down below will be able to choose which one of these six things I'm gonna do next so they can either list harbor countryside the blacksmiths the marketplace some housing or if you want to see me do terraforming but anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. Well, bye.